So now we're at pod two. This is the second exercise in the trunk stability pod. So Will's gonna get up into a uh, push-up position. Okay, you can use a dowel, you don't have to, but one of the main things that people have difficulty with the trunk stability getting out of this pod is we really need to focus on these three points of contact. And the dowel offers good biofeedback, good feedback to you so that you're able to maintain these positions and you know. The more likely thing is that your head's gonna drop. This is what we see a lot, drop your head. And we see a lot of people trying to perform their corrective exercises in this position. This is gonna keep you in this pod longer. So make sure that you're tucking your chin in as much as you possibly can by trying to draw that, almost giving yourself a double chin, maintaining this alignment. So this time around, we're gonna go for our opposite side hip, reaching underneath. Will's gonna take this right hand, reach underneath to the opposite side, maintaining his alignment, okay? This is the most difficult part. Understand that in our trunk stability pod, this is a core pod. So if you're not feeling your abs here, you're not doing it right. We really want to see that the rib cage stays connected to your pelvic bone. So we want to see activity down here where your glutes are nice and tight, quads are tight, you're driving your body weight through the heels, and then you're performing the exercise, maintaining the integrity of these positions, okay? So he's gonna do it again one more time. Right side's gonna go, you can see a little bit of shifting going on, come right back down, and then switch to the other side. We're gonna alternate the hip tap, reaching through, Keep that alignment in the spine. Try not to shift your weight too much. And this is gonna get a really, really good response from the body. And you can see, Will, you should be struggling with these correctives, okay? Will, Will has been training for a long time and he's still, bring your hip down just a little bit. You can see that at any level, you should have this type of a response when doing your correctives.